Hello students, this is your Chendu Gaud. In today's video lecture, I am going to let you all know the much awaiting topics on machine learning course under JNTUH for R8 in regulation. Dear students, this is one of the interesting and much awaiting subject for you all to take your MTech as well as MS in the course machine learning. Before going to work out this machine learning concept, a student should have a minimum basic fundamentals of data structures as well as knowledge on statistical methods. Dear students, hope you all have started your preparations for the final examination under the course machine learning for R18. I am going to leave you certain important topics. Dear students, the first unit is all about the machine learning, its definition and applications as well as the perspective and issues. This is one of the very important question. This may be for a 7 mark or a 8 mark. Later, a well posed learning problems as well as its important features is much awaiting question for this time in your question paper and it is asked several times for a 10 mark question. Later, find this algorithm and its purpose is also very very important question. Dear students, please make sure to concentrate on the part which I am going to speak here as well as I am going to give you certain tips on how to take this exam and score better marks. I have taken only few concepts which are very very important from previous year question papers as well as the analysis done by me through the complete syllabus of JNTUH for the course machine learning. Later, the concept learning as search explain the term. Also, find maximally specific hypothesis is one of the very very important question. We can expect one question from this part, I mean 1A or 1B. Do not expect a direct 15 mark question in the course machine learning. You can expect a b as well as a b c later i am going to discuss now what is the second question the second question is all about the explain the version spaces and candidate elimination algorithm along with the example and its remarks as well as inductive bias this is very very important dear students it is a gunshot question which is asked several number of times in the previous year question paper as well as the decision tree learning its representation and the terminology as well as the appropriate problems related to decision tree learning as well as the algorithm dear students the machine learning course is all related to algorithms please make sure to work out accordingly and write down your exam very neatly using two set of pens blue as well as black later the hypothesis space search issues inductive bias as well as compare hypothesis space search with id3 and candidate elimination algorithm is also one of the very very important question dear students from this part we can expect second question i mean either 2a or 2b that may be 10 a 10 5 or 7 8 combination this is all about the unit one dear students please make sure to work out these things from the unit one to score out of out mark and we can expect two questions from this as per the covid pattern we know that out of eight questions you are supposed to answer any five i am going to let you all know even the plans also please make sure to listen till the end of this video later the unit 2 is all about the artificial neural networks its representation as well as appropriate problems related to ann as well as perceptions and the advanced topics later the multi-layer propagation multi-layer network as well as back propagation algorithm feed forward networks its examples and remarks is very very important question and this is a gunshot question from the second unit, I mean that may be A or B of third A and B, third question. Later, evaluation hypothesis, motivation as well as estimate the hypothesis accuracy is also one of the very, very important question asked several times. Later, the differences in error of two hypotheses, comparing it with hypothesis accuracy. Later, estimation of bias or confidence intervals as well as the central limit theorem related to confidence intervals is also one of the very, very important question which is 
is asked several times and from this part we can expect third question and from this part you can expect the fourth question dear students of combination 4a and 4b dear students the course is completely all about the algorithms please make sure to work out all the concepts which i am going to let you know throughout this video later we jump into the unit 3 it's very very important it's all about the base theorem and illustrate its example as well as this is one of the very very important question whereas based on this they may be asking you the design brute force bayesian concept learning algorithm and elaborate this question this is also one of the very very important question dear students out of these two questions we can expect one question for sure in this question paper for r18 the examinations later the maximum likelihood hypothesis for the predicting probabilities as well as the minimum description length principle as well as the Gibbs algorithm its example or naive base classifiers is also one of the very very important question dear students later I can expect and I can let you all know that the mistakes bound for halving algorithm or mistakes bound for model of learning is also one of the seven mark question and it is asked several times later we look at the locally weight linear regression and elaborate it as well as clear nerds neighbor algorithm nearest algorithm as well as remarks on lazy as well as eager learning is also one of the much awaiting question for this time in the question paper dear students we can expect two questions as i told that the base theorem or the brute force bayesian concept as well as the minimum description length principle or the mistakes bound for halving algorithm are being asked several times from the unit 3 and it is all about two questions from the unit 3 that is 5 as well as 6 dear students later we jump into the unit 4 as you are working for your internal examinations make sure to work out to and half unit i mean three third unit half part as well as fourth and fifth unit why because if you are preparing for the internals that may help you all to gain getter marks even in the external examination too this is a very lengthy unit but i have taken only few concepts why because i have gone to the analysis of previous year question papers the repeated questions asked were the genetic algorithm its hypothesis space search is a very very and gunshot question for this paper i mean the models of evolution and learning as well as parallelizing genetic algorithm as well as genetic programming also later the q learning and its example as well as reinforcement learning is also the gunshot question this is very very important asked several times later the basic algorithm for learning sets of first order rules the first order rules please go through it it is very very important and can we can expect even this question also for 8 mark later the induction as inverted deduction or inverting resolution explain these concepts may be one of the question but i can expect that the hypothesis space search as well as the q learning or the learning set of first order rules may be asked this time for sure dear students later let's look at the unit 5 dear students machine learning concepts are all related to the algorithms and this is all about the theoretical knowledge please do carry your pencils as well as try to work out the algorithms very neatly and how to write the query paper was a video which is being posted in my channel please go through it and work out accordingly to score a better mark do not expect a direct question there may be two questions here like explanation based learning of search control knowledge and its remarks is a gunshot question from the unit 5 and this is for sure you are going to get this time as well as inductive analytical approaches to learning is a part i mean the b question from the unit 5 whichever i have written on the top are asked several number of times later initialize the hypothesis by using prior knowledge or prior knowledge to alter the search objective or augmentation search operators is one of the much awaiting question i can expect from these topics two questions for sure for this time dear students make sure to cover all these topics which I have shown here in form of important questions and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share all this 
videos which are very important for you all in the coming examination point of view. Please do work out accordingly and clear your exam in the first attempt and score better marks too. Please do share and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.